Hi everyone. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Python project management and security. Specifically, I'm going to be looking at the Poetry Python package management system and its integration with security scanning tool, SNCC. Hi, my name is Abhay Bhargav. I am the CEO of a global application security company called V45. Now this is my personal channel where I talk about everything from cloud to the latest tech that I'm working on and security as well. So if you are interested in this sort of content, please consider liking and subscribing to this video and to this channel. The details regarding this video are in the descriptions below, so do check it out before you leave. So in this demo, I'm going to be first setting up a project with the Poetry uh, package management system in Python, and then I'm going to scan that project for security issues with SNCC. Now SNCC, like I said, has introduced a new feature where it can it supports Poetry uh, package manager and the Poetry uh, lock syntax, so it's it's pretty interesting and I want to check that out and we'll see how it works and how smooth it is to actually set up. I have already signed into my SNCC account. I've just created a new test uh, SNCC account and uh, I've already signed in and I'm just going to create a new project and create some vulnerable, intentionally vulnerable dependencies uh, and then see if SNCC catches it. That's basically what I'm trying to do here. All right, so let's set up our first project with Poetry and uh, we're going to set up a project with Poetry and then get started with understanding how it, how it works. Now with Poetry, uh, it's pretty simple to set up a new project. Uh, I'm just gonna set up a new project here um, called Poetry SNCC. Just gonna call it Poetry SNCC. And it's gonna set up a directory called Poetry SNCC uh, and it's gonna set up a package in there called poetry underscore snick. So this is basically some boilerplate stuff that it does and it also creates the toml package. So if I go into poetry underscore snick and do tree, you will see that um, I have a readme, it has uh, the package, the root package name, which is poetry underscore snick. It has the toml file, which is the descriptor for poetry as well and it has uh, some boilerplate tests, I think, in PyTest that it's written. So let's actually look at this stuff, look at look at this boilerplate code that we have, and I'm just going to... So if you look at the Tamil project, it has, we're using Python 3.7, which is a slightly older version of Python, I must admit, but nevertheless, it, uh, uh, that's the Python local version that I'm using for uh, dependency reasons. Uh, then we are also using a test a dev dependency called uh, PyTest. In this case, the PyTest 5.2 version is the dev dependency, but 3.7 is the Py core Python itself. It also has a build uh, which I'm not using so far. So one of the things you should realize about Poetry is that this TOML file replaces the previously required requirements.txt and setup.file. So with Poetry, you not only can set up the dependencies and track dependencies. You can also build stuff with Poetry. You can also use that for publishing it to the uh, Python cheese shop. You can do all of that stuff. It's pretty interesting that one uh, project, one uh, file, uh, uh, the TOML file can replace the entire setup.py and requirements.txt. One thing I like about Poetry, which I didn't like in previous Python package managers, is that you can use this as an integrated solution rather than uh, you know a patchwork solution. A lot, of, a lot of the previous package managers that I used, I think even Pippi and we had the same problem that it was a little bit of patchwork. It just extended on top of the pip um, you know package manager uh, code base and it it did it did some extra stuff which was useful. But I think Poetry takes it to another level because it really reframes the problem. It does the thing. Uh, it essentially I think con combines the best of npm on the one hand with its uh, descriptor and the log file. And it also, I think, combines the power of uh, Rust. So if you look at the cargo package manager for Rust, it gives you some documentation out of the box, it gives you some tests out of the box. I think Poetry has tried to combine these two things and give you that integrated approach. So now we've created a new Poetry, uh, you know, uh, we have created a new Poetry project uh, called poet, uh, Poetry underscore snake. So now I've set up my poetry uh, project, but I actually have to install some libraries and actually have to get it going, right? So what I'm gonna do is go, I'm gonna add some libraries to my project 
uh, and I'm in this case since I'm using it with snake I want to test it out with insecure libraries right so I want to test it out with uh, previously already known insecure libraries to see if snake is able to catch it when we're scanning for it now snake needs two files to be available but first let's actually uh, add some dependencies to our project so I'm going to say poetry add uh, python dash docx 0.8.3 right now this is a docx project python docx project that is uh, that allows you to parse and create docx files right now this is vulnerable to an xml external entities flaw and it's a pretty bad flaw uh, i've demoed it a, a lot of times in I, my training and it's a pretty huge flaw with the docx project but i'm going to install it uh, now and Oh, looks like I was in the wrong directory. Portree snake, sorry. I'm gonna install it. And now it's gonna resolve the dependencies and the nested dependencies, and it's going to update my Toml file, which it did, as you can see. And it's also gonna add a poetry.lock file. Now the poetry.lock file gives you the, uh, the nested dependencies for that top level dependency, right? So if you see, it gives you all the nested dependencies that you need. And this is required because all your, your scanning tools, especially Snake and many of your other, uh, you know, your source code analysis tools or your, uh, your package analysis tools will need this to actually analyze the nested dependencies. And it also, aside from the nested dependencies, it will tell you what version of the nested dependency it's using, what hash value it's using, so it actually binds it correctly. Now, this was something that was very, uh, it was a pretty big gap in the Python ecosystem because the pip dependency manager, which is Python's default dependency manager, did not give you all of this detail. It, it kind of, in a way, uh, only if you list it out, it would give you that, but it did not pin it. It did not do a very good job of actually managing these sub-dependencies really well. Now, let's say I install another package, right? So I'm going to install poetry add. I'm going to install another uh, vulnerable uh, Python package, which is PyYaml, and I'm going to use the version 3.13, which is vulnerable to an insecure deserialization flaw. Now, this flaw, if exploited, the attacker can actually do a remote code execution on the victim machine. So I'm going to install this, and uh, you'll see that that should also update my uh, Toml file as well as the lock file, right? So it's going to install it. I don't think there are too many dependencies for this, uh, but anyway, this is going to install whatever is the dependency for this and you'll see that it's installed right here. So we have the lock file, we have our toml file which has these dependencies, and now let's actually monitor with snick, right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to monitor this with snick. So I'm going to say snick monitor and hopefully it can detect all of those dependencies. Looks like it is depend uh, analyzing those dependencies and it should tell me pretty soon that uh, I have some issues. Right, so I have uh, this. This has been uh, generated as a project. If I go and look into my SNCC, uh, my uh, my organization, I should see it coming up pretty soon. Yeah, you see that. So this is my SNCC project or my SNCC organization. Uh, basically that has all my projects listed out and you see that I've created this project just now and we have issues that have already been flagged, right? And all of those are pretty serious high severity issues. The PyAML one, insecure deserialization, um, again, same uh, our, uh, remote code execution on the PyAML. This is a pretty known and serious exploit, high severity. And of course we found the XML external entities injection on the Python docx as well. So it uh, looks like Snick has been able to detect this pretty comprehensively, all the stuff that I would have flagged on these, this project. Uh, Snick has been able to do it. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it, it's got a pretty comprehensive database, so I'm assuming that Snick would be able to catch this, but it's pretty simple. I really like the simplicity of the integration here. All you have to do is install your poetry project and Snick is able to track it at that point in time. Uh, and it also, uh, emails notifications about these dependencies so that's really cool i really like that um, about snick it's it's pretty simple to install and get moving uh with this so 
as you can see, I was able to set up a poetry project very quickly. Uh, I was able to scan it for security issues with SNCC and I was able to get a pretty in-depth report of what's going to happen with this and of course uh, whatever other SNCs there, uh, I mean, sorry, features that SNCC offers, I'm also able to leverage like Jira and so on. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to check how the integration works and how the actual, uh, you know, the project can be scanned. And it's pretty nice to see that it gives you all the uh, information. It gives you, it reads the manifest from the TOML. So SNCC requires these two files, right? So it requires the lock file and the TOML file both to be available for this integration to work. So it's pretty cool. And as you can see, it's very easy to get scanning uh, with Poetry. So I would highly recommend Poetry to those of you who are not using it. I just started using Poetry for a few new projects. I've largely been, uh, I used to be on PPNV for a while, but then uh, I decided to go off it because it was not, I found that it was not really solving many of the problems, but Poetry seems to be doing a lot of these things a lot better. I like the fact that it's a good combo of the NPM package manager ecosystem as well as the uh, uh, the cargo rust ecosystem which kind of uh, brings in those two flavors and really does a good job of managing this uh, and and the other thing that we did was we also set up a SNCC integration where we just started monitoring our dependencies with, with SNCC and as you can see SNCC caught all of the bugs that I knew were there uh, we introduced two uh, uh, dependencies both dependencies were intentionally vulnerable they both had vulnerabilities that we knew about but the fact that SNCC caught them were pretty cool. So if I install something else, now SNCC would obviously be able to monitor them as well, just like it did in the case of uh, these two dependencies.